हेलो फ्रेंड्स कैसे हो आप लोग माई सेल्फ चेतन कर आई एम मास्टर टीचर हेयर एट वेदांतु आई वेलकम यू ऑल अगेन टू अवर आर एम ऑफ फ्लैश बैक सीरीज टूडे इन दिस सीरीज वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्थ एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ऑफ ईयर नाइनटीन नाइनटी वन बोथ द क्वेश्चन आर वेरी इजी एंड इनफेक्ट आई एनकरेज यू टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन टेक वेन एवर द क्वेश्चन अपियर्स टेक सम टाइम टू सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन आफ्टर दैट यू कैन कम बैक टू द वीडियो अगेन टू वॉच द सोल्यूशन राइट so before starting let me just uh, give you one information that currently here at vedantu we are running uh, pre rmo rmo and inmo batches those who have not cleared pre rmo or who have not appeared yet for pre rmo they can simply visit our website olympia.vedantu.com and those who have already cleared pre rmo uh, we will simply enroll you to rmo batches right and those who have cleared rmo uh, we will simply enroll to uh, enroll you to inmo batches right all you need to do is just mail me your name class your proof of clearing this exam contact number and address on this email id right and those who have cleared uh, pre rmo exam we will uh, enroll you to uh, rmo batches and those who have cleared uh, rmo exam we will enroll you to inmo batches right so let's start our session let's start with the question number 5th of uh, year 1991 right so basically this is a question of geometry and uh, that's a pretty simple question um the question says that um, take any point on the triangle on the side bc of a triangle abc okay uh, let's say this is triangle abc and let's assume this is any point p1 on this uh, on the side bc of the triangle right after that it's saying uh, p1 p2 draw p1 p2 uh, parallel to ac right so this is p2 and as you can say this p1 p2 is parallel to ac right Where P two is on AB, okay. And now what uh, what it's uh, what it is saying P two P three parallel to BC, okay. So this should be P three. And clearly, as you can say, P two P three is parallel to BC. Now it is saying that draw P three P four P three P four parallel to AB, okay. So clearly, as you can see, P three P four is parallel to AB. And again, it is saying P four P five parallel to AC. parallel to ca right as you can say this p4 p5 is nothing but parallel to ca and again it is saying draw p5 p6 parallel to pc right and here p2 and p5 lie on ab as you can see in the diagram p3 and p6 lie on ca again as you can see on the diagram p1 was on the side bc and p4 should also be on the bc as you can see on the diagram right so so many parallel lines in this question but again we just need to again prove a parallel line that is this p6 and p1 this these uh, this red line basically is parallel to ab right this is what we need to prove theek hai to so many parallel lines and uh, this question is pretty simple and in fact a student who is in currently 8th or 9th class can easily solve this question right all he need to do dekho itni sari parallel lines hai to there must be a concept of parallelogram maybe right to so, parallelogram mein what we have opposite sides are parallel or we can say uh, if simply uh, a pair of opposite side is parallel as well as as well as it is equal then we can also say that this is a parallelogram right okay so let's proceed with this question okay we need to prove that uh, what is uh, p1 p6 that is parallel to ab okay तो क्लियरली ए पी सिक्स इज पैरल टू पी वन पी टू राइट दैट इज पी वन पी टू इज पैरल टू ए सी और वी कैन से पी वन पी टू इज सिंपली पैरल टू ए पी सिक्स राइट एज इट इज मैंशन इन द क्वेश्चन पी वन पी टू इज पैरल टू ए सी राइट तो वी जस्ट नीड टू प्रूव इफ वी सम हाउ इफ वी आर एबल टू प्रूव दैट दिस पी वन पी टू इज ऑल्सो इक्व टू ए पी सिक्स इफ सम हाउ we will be able to prove this that p1 p2 is nothing but that is also same as ap6 then i guess we are done then we can uh, say that uh, opposite sides are parallel as well as equal that means this ap6 p1 and p2 this a p6 p1 and this p2 this will be a parallelogram which will imply p1 p6 should be parallel to ab right so if i ask you uh, our question now become that we need to prove this thing right that p1 p2 is nothing but that should be equals to ap6 okay let's see how we will prove this thing right okay uh, one way we can say that uh, p5 p6 is parallel to bp1 right so 
P5, P6 is parallel to B, P1 or which is nothing but uh, parallel to we can say BC, right? P5, P6 is parallel to BC and this is a transversal. So this angle, this should be equal to this angle, right? These two angles should be equal, right? Okay. So again, what we can say that uh, P1, P2, which is here P1, P2, this is also parallel to AC, right? P1, P2, this is parallel to AC. So we can say this angle, this should be equal to this angle, right? Because we know if uh, a set of parallel lines, a line uh, cuts the, a set of two parallel lines, then the uh, these corresponding angles are always equal, right? So these two triangles are basically similar, right? Now, uh, if, uh, if this has to be true, then actually these two triangles, A, P5, P6 and P2, B, P1, right? They, they must be congruent. So all we need to do is we need to prove these two triangles to be congruent, right? So for that, we can uh, say, let's focus on this A, P5 and this P2, B. If somehow we will be able to prove this result, then I guess we are done, right? Now, as you can see, uh, P2, P3, P4, B. This is a parallelogram, clearly. This P2, right? P2, P3, P4, B, right? This is clearly a parallelogram, right? So we can say this uh, P2, B, this will be nothing but this is equals to P3, P4, right? And uh, you can also say, uh, you can also see A, P5, P4, P3. That is this thing, A, P5, P4. Okay, my drawing is not that good. So assume this to be a single line, right? So this thing is again a parallelogram, right? A, P5, P4, P3. This is a parallelogram, right? So again, that, that will imply that A, P5, P5, right? A, P5, that should be equal to nothing but P3, P4. Now, since by combining these two things, we can simply say that this P to B, that will be equals to what? This A, P5, right? This P to B, that should be equals to A, P5. And we, already, we have already proved that these two triangles were similar. And if one corresponding side is also equal, then we can say these two triangles are congruent, right? And if these are congruent, then we can simply say that this P1, P2, that will nothing be equals to a p6 as well as these were parallel according to the question right so we can say this uh, a set of opposite side of a quadrilateral are parallel as well as equal that means this must be a parallelogram and hence this side p1 p6 that should be equal to uh, that should be parallel to ab right hence proved as we can easily say that p1 p6 is parallel to ab Right. So that this question is, was pretty easy, right? All we need to prove uh, that all, all, we, all we need is just a simple property of parallelogram and a little property of similar triangles as well as congruent triangles, right? So this is a pretty simple question, right? Chalo, now let's uh, move to our next question, question sixth of RMO 1991. Okay, so basically this question is of number system, as you can see, or you can say this question is from quadratic, right? So the question is saying, find all integer values of A such that this quadratic expression can be factored as a product of two, again, uh, as a product of these two factors where the point is B and C are integers, right? So basically, um, all, th all this is trying to say is that this quadratic expression has integral solutions, has integral roots, right? Has an integral zeros, okay? Consider a quadratic equation, uh, let's say general quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero, let's say. Uh, okay, we will do this question by two methods, right? Uh, the quadratic formula which we know minus b plus minus under root of d discriminant which is nothing but b square minus 4ac upon 2a, right? Now th for this equation to have integral roots, uh, b square minus 4ac, that is this discriminant, that should be a perfect square right that must be a perfect square uh, then only this uh, thing can have integral roots right 
so if we uh, if we uh, simply product these two factors uh, if we simply expand this equation what we will get we will simply get x square right plus uh, a plus one nine nine one x right and what else one nine nine one a plus one right this is what we will get let's assume this to be equal to zero uh, to find the uh, roots of this equation right so what will be the discriminant discriminant will be nothing but a plus one nine nine one whole square minus four times one nine nine one a plus one right so this will become a square plus one nine nine one square right plus twice of a into one nine nine one minus this is nothing but four a into one nine nine one minus four right now if you see this thing is in fact uh, again becoming a whole square which is nothing but a one nine nine one a minus one nine nine one whole square minus four right now as we have said uh, for this equation to have integral roots this discriminant should be a perfect square so let's assume this to be a k square then we can simply say that this a minus one nine nine one square right minus k square equals to four all right now uh, as you can see these are the difference of two squares and the difference is four right so the smallest square of an integer is zero after that it is one square one and then two square four and then three square nine and then 16 and then 25 and then so on right now if you see the gap here is one here is three here is five here is seven here is nine right and the gap is increasing right so uh, for two squares two squares can have a difference of four only when one is zero and the other is four right that's why they they can have a, a difference of four units else it is not possible as you can see the gap keep on uh, increasing for even consecutive squares so if we make some uh, difference between the squares, the gap will definitely be greater than four right so uh, we can conclude that one of the squares should be four obviously the bigger one should be four and the smaller one should be zero right so we can say this a minus one nine nine one uh, square that should be equal to four this will imply uh, that this a minus one nine nine one that should be equal to either plus two or it should be minus two right and from this equation we can easily find the values of a and that comes out to be the answer will be simply nothing but uh, it will be 1989 or it will be 1993 right so this is uh, one way of doing this question in which uh, we have just uh, used the concept of quadratic equation right um, we can we can also solve this uh, question with one another method let's see that method right i hope this method is clear right chalo okay uh, according to question this thing that is x plus a into x plus 1991 right plus 1 this is nothing but this is actually equals to x plus b into x plus c right so this thing uh, is factorized to these two integral values right so again if we compare this thing uh, this is nothing but x square plus 1991 uh, plus a plus 1991a plus 1 right and here we will have x square uh, plus b plus c times x okay i have forgot x here also right plus b times c right so uh, since these two uh, are uh, the same equation so let's compare the coefficients so by comparing the coefficients we can simply say that uh, 1991 plus a this thing should be equal to what this b plus c right so this should be b plus c and this constant term that should be equal to this b in times c right so 1991 a plus 1 that should be nothing but b times c right so let's eliminate c from these two things let's find the value of c from this equation first equation and let's substitute this value in the second equation right so what we will get 1991a plus 1 equals to b times now substitute the value of c here uh, from this equation right so this is nothing but 1991 uh, plus a minus b right okay 
so uh, actually what we need to find we need to find the uh, integral values of a all right all right uh, okay let's find the value of a in terms of b now right so this will become 1991 a minus b times a let's uh, gather the terms of a on left hand side and the remaining terms on the right hand side that is nothing but 1991 b minus uh, this b square right and this uh, one will also go to the right hand side it will become minus one right so let's uh, take a common and let's divide this thing 1991 minus b uh, on the right hand side so what we will get we will get 1991 uh, let's take b common from first two factors right from first two factors uh, minus one this is the numerator uh, this is basically the right hand side of this step so if we divide this with 1991 minus b what we will get we can simply say this is nothing but b minus 1 upon 1991 minus b right all right so we have got this relation that a is nothing but a is equals to this thing now for this thing to be an integer uh, one should be divisible by this and th this is only possible when 1991 minus b this is either 1 or this is minus 1 right so if this is 1 then b is nothing but it comes out to be 1990 and if this is minus 1 then b is nothing but it is 1992 right so these are the two values for b but again we are uh, interested in the values of a only right so a will be nothing but we can substitute the value of b here so we will get by substituting b equals to 1990 we will get a to be uh, 1990 minus 1 which is nothing but 1989 and uh, by substituting the value of b to be 1992 what we will get uh, 1992 minus of minus 1 which is nothing but 1992 plus 1 which is 1993 right so these two are the possible values of a for this question uh, this is a good question but uh, i'll be more than happy if uh, one of the answer comes to be 1991 okay because this is a question of year 1991 so uh, I, if I was in the place of uh, the question setter, I might have changed this value 1991 such that one of the final answer uh, may come 1991. Although th that will not make any difference to our uh, solution, right? So for this question, the answer is 1989 and 1993, right? So we have seen two methods, right? One is this, the quadratic one, and one is more or less uh, the method which we generally use in number system, right? So uh, that's it from my side guys, we have discussed uh, two questions of year 1991, okay before ending my session uh, I'll again um, tell you one thing that I've already told in the start of the session that currently here at Vedantu we are running pre-RMO, RMO and INMO batches. Those who have not cleared pre-RMO or have not appeared for pre-RMO exam, they can simply visit our website olympia.vedantu.com. Uh, we have provided each and every information here for our pre-RMO batches and those who have cleared uh, pre-RMO we will simply enroll to RM, uh, enroll you to RMO batches and those who have cleared RMO we will simply enroll you to INMO batches. All you need to do is uh, mail me your uh, name, class, proof of proof of clearing these exams and contact number to and address to this email ID. The most important thing these courses are totally free of cost. Uh, because the ultimate purpose is ultimate aim is to bring gold for India, right? Uh, so all you need to do just mail me your uh, these details, right? So by this I'll end my session, right? So we, uh, we will meet in the next session. We will discuss the next two question of year 1991, right? So thank you. Bye bye. Take a very good care of yourself.